Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I hope you're all safe and well. Um, today's set is going to be a bob set. Um, I'm going to be using CJP uh, CJP Bob brush on builder. <clears throat> um, so first of all, I've prepped all my clients' nails, and now I'm just applying tips. So apologies for the last few videos I put up that haven't had any voiceovers on. Um, I've been really busy this weekend doing um, getting all the Christmas nails in. So I've actually finished now till after Christmas. I thought I'd do this last weekend. And then I'm going to take a nice well-end break from doing nails for until after Christmas. So how are you all? Um, how are you all enjoying this new tier system? Now there's another tier four. Um, sorry about my phone, keep going off. Uh, another tier four, like London's all shutting down. And the new strain of this uh, virus going around, it's not good, is it? Um, but what, what can you do? You just have to keep going, don't you? So, um, has it messed up anybody's plans for Christmas? We're, you know, not being able to meet up with family over the Christmas week. You can only do it now on Christmas Day. Um, we had plans on spreading, you know, Christmas with some of my partner's family, some of my family, and sort of spreading it over a few days. So there was not a lot of people in one area at once, and that's gone out the window now. So, you know, sad times really, isn't it? At the time when we should be spending time with our family and, you know, things like that, we can't. So it's a bit of a shame, isn't it, that it's come to this for Christmas. But anyway, and less of that, and let's get on with some pretty nails. So um, this is one of my younger clients that have come in. So I always advise my younger clients... Um, to wear their nails quite short so we're just having a look at it there um and then once we get the right sort of size that she wants i'll measure it up and what i use is a nail form to measure up so i get each one individual uh, um exactly the same because when i find i measure them up against each other i do find that i still get um different lengths So she decided to take a little bit more off. So I'm just cutting it down a little bit further. Because this client works in um, sort of a busy supermarket. Well, it's sort of um, uh, like um, a home one sort of thing. I don't want to say the name just in case, you know. Um, but yeah... Um, she works like getting her hands into tills and things like that so she wanted to keep them fairly short anyway so she's not knocking them getting them in and out of tills so once we've got the sh size that we want the length that we want sorry i'll just um taper them in a little bit and because i'm using bob i do go over the tips as well so i'm etching all the tips so I've got something for the product to stick to. So this is a watch me work type of video where I've just put the camera on and I've just let it run. So you will see me doing two hands because with Bob you need to do like a finger at a time and cure it. So that's why you see two hands in this video.
So now all the tips are completed. Um, I'm just going to go in first with some dehydrate. I think in a minute. Still messing around here. Yep, dehydrate. And just dehydrate as I go along. So I'm putting a little bit of that on and then I apply my first layer of um, White Little Lies, I think this is called. Bob White Little Lies. I'm just applying my first coat really thin, work it into those grooves that I've created and then she pops it into the lamp for about 10 seconds. And while that one's flash curing, I do exactly the same on the other pinky finger. So I'm working from pinky finger inwards on the two hands. I just find that this saves time because with Bob uh, curing in between and building up the layers, I just find it easier to um, work this way. So I'm applying my second layer now and then she'll pop it into the lamp. And I cure for 10 seconds as I go and then when I finish the whole set I do cure then for um, the full 60 seconds. I'm just wiping some product off there that's spilt onto the skin because you don't want any product on the skin when they put the hands in the lamp because it will burn their skin.
So now that they're all finished, I'm just wiping over with some wipe off solution just to get rid of the sticky layer. And then I file this layer then. So they're nice and thin and even because I am going to be applying glitter and then clear bob on top. So my client wanted a sparkly white. She did bring in a picture that she found on Pinterest. Um, I didn't notice the name on it. So this is somebody else's design. This isn't mine. But on the design it had like um, a shimmery white. And I hadn't got, obviously, because Bob is only in white and milky white. So I'm using, I think it's called Angel. Angel something. The CJP, C gel P, sorry. I think it's just called Angel. Um, yeah, so I'm just giving it a, th a thin layer of that over all the nails just to give that white a nice shimmer.
So here I'm putting a bit of clear barb onto my lip palette and I'm using that with a gel brush to pick up some glitter. Um, the picture that she brought in was a gel design, a gel polish design. Um, but I hadn't got any glittery gel polish in the colour that she brought in. So I decided to use glitter and this is from the Glitter Fairy. Um, which is now closed, which is now closed down and it's the Reindeer collection and it's called Dancer. So it's a lovely like tealy blue colour. So I'm just adding a little bit of that glitter over all the nails to make it like a glitter fade, fading over the white. And then on a couple of fingers, um, she wanted snowflakes and she picked out the white ones so I just apply a couple of white snowflakes uh, just on the ring finger and the pointer finger So apologies for going a little bit out of shot here. I just pulled the hand a bit too far forward. But all I'm doing is picking up the snowflakes with a little bit of gel on like a little dotting tool. And then just placing them on the, like I said, the ring finger and the pointer finger. And then I get it to cure in the lamp. And then I do exactly the same on this hand. So I'll just go ahead now and encapsulate all the fingers using the clear bob and I'm building up a bit of strength and an apex here. Not too much because they are short nails so they don't need a huge apex. I just want to make sure 
that all that glitter and snowflake is covered and again I'm just using one finger from one hand and then I'm getting it to pop it into the lamp just for 10 seconds just to freeze it into place while I work on the other fingers and then when I get all the way to the thumb I do ask her to put her hand in the lamp and I give it a full 60, 60 seconds cure. So once it comes out, I was going to file it straight away and then I realised I hadn't removed the sticky layer so I used my uh, wipe off solution and just wipe over all the nails. And then I do my usual filing routine that I do on every single set regardless of whether I'm working on acrylic or gels. And that's like straightening up the free edge, going up round one side wall around the cuticle down the other side wall and then i go across the top of the nail contouring it into a nice shape i go underneath the nail to remove any um bits that have spilt over or smooth it all out so it's not too sharp and then i go over with a buffing block to buff it um i do also turn the client's hand around so i can see it from their point of view their viewpoint and straighten up all those free edges so they're nice and um, straight and sharp.
So I did pile off a snowflake here. Um, so I decided to add it on top of the nail. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a bit of top coat and putting it on, encapsulating it again um, with a bit of bob. It did slide down, so I did just push it up a little bit and then wait until it's self-leveled out and then put it back into the lamp to cure. So as you can see, I'm just turning them around and making sure that those three edges are nice and straight and even. And now I'm applying top coat. Um, I did clean them beforehand. I did give them a good scrub with some soap and water and give them a good clean and wipe over with some wipe off solution to remove all the dust. And now I'm using, I've run out of my time to shine, so I'm using um, the top gloss, CJP top gloss. And I'm just applying a thin layer to all the nails and then I ask her to cure in my lamp. And I cured these, I think, for about two minutes, these ones. So once the nails are cured, I just then apply some Naf Stuff Cuticle in the fragrance of coconut and that will be the set complete. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know this has been a long video, so I hope you've um, stuck with me to the end. Um, let me know what you thought of these. Share some love in the comments box and please give me a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe if you haven't already. And I've got another video to upload tonight so i will speak to you shortly so for now bye bye